Welcome to the Geelong and District Netball Show. This is the final show for the year. It is the grand final today. We have a huge match. Werribee Central's taking on Thompson for, I think it is the sixth year in a row, which is a pretty remarkable record there. Joining me on the show this morning, hello Bertie, it's great to have you Megan, for the last time this season. Last time this season, thank God for that. You're saying that. <laughs> Now, just seven hours How do you think we're feeling? No, <laughs> it's, it's happy. I'm really happy to be here with everyone, and um, it's good. Last, it's season's not pretty quick. Before you know it, mm. we're here. It's uh, the last game of the season, and of course, right here, beautiful Blood Suzuki Cup, the A Grade mm -hmm. Premiership Cup. There, that to either Werribee or Thompson will walk away with later this afternoon. So, very interesting. Now, Debbie. Bertie, who would have thought Thompson and Werribee again? Well, I'll tell you goddamn what. How the <laughs> hell can Winchelsea lose the unlosable final? The first week of finals, mm -hmm. Thompson beat Belpost Hill by 16. The following week, Winch beat Belpost Hill by 40. Mm -hmm. You think they're a 20 goal better side than uh, Thompson, but yet the impossible happened yep. and they lost by a goal. Mm -hmm. Serious questions have to be asked at Winch. And during the season, we're always laughing and joking about players not being mm -hmm. there, the coach not being there, and now it's come back and bitten them big time on the you-know-what. And at the end of the season, when they come down to the crunch, all those games that they were missing, they didn't want it, and that's what happened. Mm -hmm. Now, I, speaking of questions, Bertie, you've yep. got Flick sitting right there next to you. So, Flick, <laughs> what happened? What went wrong? Um, well, it was me. I wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Surprise. That's what I'm trying to say, right? <laughs> no, I I don't know. Um, we, we haven't won over Thompson all year. They're the one team they, that Winch haven't bet in the A grade as well. Um, I still, to this day, say that there's real... There's a, a mental, cool. psychological yeah. thing happening between the two t clubs in all levels. Mm -hmm. um, I think they just... Couldn't put it together on the day. Birdie's getting really frustrated. Yeah, he with is. Me. He's pissed off. Um, I, I don't, I, and I think that, that because mm -hmm. they don't play together all the time, it, mm -hmm. they've only played the three games for the whole season with the whole team, it's going to have some effect at the mm -hmm. end of the year, definitely. So mm -hmm. um, these are definitely going to be things that we'll be looking at next year for sure. But if you remember last year, the same kind of thing happened there mm -hmm. as well. So, mm -hmm. so what's going to change for next year? I don't know. I'm, I don't know. You're not what? You're not. <laughs> I'm you're not president. Not even, you're not president year, next no. year. Okay. Resigned. Okay. So. Resigned. Not quite sure. Wow. Well, Winch are just falling apart, people. You heard it. <laughs> no president. <laughs> players not. To, oh my god. <laughs> Moving right along. Next to Flick joining us again. It's great to have with us A grade coach from Werribee, Christy Cruella. Welcome to you. Thank you. Now, Christy, you were there last weekend. Yep. And how did you see the game? Because I don't oh. think any of us were really expecting Thompson to get up. No, we weren't expecting. Um, it was a different, to me, it was a different look, Thompson. They came out ready to play and mm -hmm. uh, that they did. They played a fantastic game. I mean, both teams were still in it going into last quarter. Last quarter, uh, Thompson's game, they just really stepped up. Don't think they missed many goals. Um, yeah, tight defensive game. So, unfortunately, yeah, Winchelsea lost a f oh, missed a fair few goals at the start of the quarter. Mm -hmm. Maybe a few positional changes, yeah, it didn't work their way, so, yeah. So were you really surprised to see Thompson come out like that? Really surprised. I think they played a completely different style of game to what they did against us the week before as well. Completely different style of game. And how or why do you think that changed? Uh, do you have any idea? It's I don't know. That they were back to... Yeah, yeah, no, that they, I think on Saturday they were back to their best, the best that I know them at, mm. and that's the way that they played the grand final last year as well. Uh, I think against us the week before, um, uh, they came out different. They... They didn't have that attack at the ball that they did on Saturday. So, and I think maybe they were a bit more body on body with us, but they just, they played the game of netball mm -hmm. on Saturday and that's what they did and they won. Now, Christy, so. last time you were in, you mentioned that they were playing some undisciplined play. Yep. Uh, now, Thompson obviously watched the show and yep. had some words after the game last yep. weekend. How do you yep. think they improved on that? Oh, they were disciplined. They were definitely disciplined. Good on them. They've turned their game around and... Uh, which, you know, I mean, a couple of them it probably wasn't the best thing to say maybe, but I said it and it, it won, they won the game. So And their discipline was definitely better. Mm -hmm. So you play discipline netball, you win games, and that's what happened. Mm. I think, as Chrissy said, they played a different type of netball on the weekend, but I think that they were allowed to play a different type of netball mm -hmm. 
Whereas Werribee mm. don't let them play the type of game that they like to play. Mm -hmm. And of course, so far this year, Thompson haven't beaten Werribee. Mm -hmm. And um, yes, humble pie doesn't taste very nice. <laughs> but uh, Christy got a mouthful on the weekend and even I got a mouthful too after the game. <laughs> Um, and that's fine. Mm. You know, we that's can good. take it. That's all right. It's all good. It's all part yeah. of the part and parcel of the game. Um, but uh, this week, later on today, different type of game. Different type of game. And I really can't see where it would be <laughs> allowing to happen what happened last week mm -hmm. happen later on this afternoon. Mm -hmm. So, and it's really good, Chris, that you've come in all the way from Alwood once again. <laughs> It's a shame we couldn't have anyone from Thompson on the show tonight. Yes, and we did ask one, uh, but unfortunately we couldn't get anyone in today. So I suppose they're preparing for the big game Could this be. afternoon. Could so be. They need a lot of prep. I don't want to ruin that. They need a lot of preparation, maybe. Perhaps. I don't know. <laughs> now, you mentioned Birdie a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Nicole Trainer and Michelle Bradley. Yep. Perhaps you didn't think playing as well as they could have been. It's going back a couple of weeks ago. Yep. How did they improve on the weekend? Did they improve or was it Winchelsea's defence that perhaps wasn't as strong? Because we've seen Winchelsea's defence. Like Winchelsea tried to set up a press, mm -hmm. right? And you compare the Winchelsea press to the Werribee press, mm -hmm. you really can't compare it mm -hmm. because Winch are too too loose with their press in the centre court. With Werribee, trying to get through the Werribee press is like trying to get through a brick wall. Mm -hmm. You pretty much very rarely do it. But all that happened was Nicole Trainer came over to transverse line, snuck into the corner a little bit, and mm -hmm. she got every pass that came into that centre court. She was mm -hmm. waiting there, she got it, she fed down, and it was gone. Mm. And Winch did not pick it up. She got every pass in the centre court and broke the press. To, 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 you know, I mean, Christy wouldn't probably, you know, because she'd catch on that straight away and say, yeah. girls, watch her, and, and which they would, and they wouldn't, wouldn't do that. Um, and I think later on today... Um, we'll see why where his press is so devastating mm -hmm. to opposition teams. Mm -hmm. And uh, Thompson are going to have a hell of a lot of trouble getting through that. All right. I've got Thanks a bit of your question. But... Thoughts, All right, we have to go to a very short break. That's gone very quickly. We'll be back in just a moment. You're